I think what we're seeing in our time is the rise of what I've come to call the empty self. And, and by that, I mean a self that, for a whole variety of reasons, uh, is no longer able to find authority from within, and so must import authority from without. This is the kind of self that lives very fearfully in the world, because emptiness is a fearful place to be, and is therefore constantly looking for ways to prop up his or her own life, and easily settles for leadership that both manipulates fear and promises to give that person strength, um, promises to give that person a sense of identity that doesn't come from within, but that comes from without. Now, something is going on in our democracy which has led people to vote against and act against their own economic interest, even their own personal interest, in order to fill an emptiness with, with the appearance of power and security. Uh, I know, we, we live in a world of terrorism, but I'm the guy who can make you safe. Well, I, that one needs to be thought about with some care, and it can only be thought about by people who have enough sense of, of identity that comes from within themselves, enough sense of personal authority and ground on which to stand, that they can, they can do what patriots need to do, which is to be critical of their country in, in ways, in, at points where it needs critique, stand on their own ground as citizens and help pull their country back to safety. If, if patriotism becomes a way of filling our inner emptiness, then you can't do what a true patriot needs to do, which is to, be, which is to have a lover's quarrel with your own country, with your own political system. I think democracy has always depended on people who are standing independently and are able to have that lover's quarrel with something they love too much to let it sink to its lowest life form. So the empty self is a threat, I think, to fundamental democratic values and processes.